about these four corner units. These four corner units could be a lot of piecing, but right. I'm gonna show you a super speedy shortcut method that's fantabulous. This is really so clever. Let's take a look at this. All right, so we're gonna end up, this is what we're after. It's an economy block, a square and a square and a square. <laughs> and we're gonna start here with a five inch unfinished um, blue, and we're gonna put white uh, triangles around it. Now these were cut from four and a half, a four and a half inch square mm -hmm. of white. And so we're gonna attach that all the way around it. Excellent. All right, so I'm just going to use the markings on the machine. There's a zero marking on the bed of the machine. Mm -hmm. And so I just know that it's a, I need to have it hanging off um, on the centimeter side is what I'm paying attention to. Six on this side, six on that side. Okay. And then when I put my white on, I just wanna make sure it's touching the eight uh, centimeter on that side. It's and a really then, a neat trick. Most machines have a ruler like that somewhere along the bed. So that's just a clever way to utilize that. Mm -hmm. Have to, it's just faster. I'll hand you this one too. Okay. So I know we've got to put two on there. Yep. So I would do two at a time, opposite sides. Mm -hmm. um, you can't do all four at a time, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah but it's not going to work because you'll sew yourself into yourself. <laughs> and probably we've tried something like that oh, yeah. somewhere along the way. Oh, yeah. You only do it once, then you go, oh, that's why you that can't do it work. that way. That yeah, makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so if you would press those little triangles out. Sure. And then we're gonna put the next two on. All right. There you go. Perfect. Now these two go on these sides. So let me take this over here. And again, I'm gonna use my little markings on the machine and make sure that I've got them centered and then center that and we have oversized white triangles that we're adding to the square so they're hanging off the end a little bit but honestly that makes it easier for piecing and it gives you some access to trim off yeah more precision in your block because if i'm not perfect it really it just doesn't matter yeah and i would rather it just not matter i agree right yeah yeah my i fight with my perfection habits in other arenas i don't want to fight with it here in sewing right yeah <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so then we're going to press these white triangles out just like we did before. Okay. Excellent. So we will have made a square in a square. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to put another square round around it. We do have to trim it up at this point because okay. we want to make sure that there's a quarter of an inch around each of these four points. And it's some ridiculous, actually I have it on this one, ruler right here. It's all because marked up. Seventh, eight, it's, seven. it's, it's a crazy number, it's six and seven eighths. Okay. Right, no fun at all. But if you put a little piece of tape, you actually can see more easily where that seven eighths okay. mark is. So you want a quarter of an inch all the way around. All right, I think we're hmm. pretty yeah. close. Yep. So again, just kind of doing two sides. Mm -hmm. You could get a spin that two. out if you wanted to. And, go and right this to one's easy because you just go, yeah, right there. Perfect. All right, and then the final round are going to be these blue. And so I'm just gonna show you, we're just gonna lay them on here. I think it's time for us to change our blade. Oh yeah, that is a good, you know it's time to change your blade when you get, when it doesn't cut as you're All rolling it through. takes a little bit, yeah. And we certainly go through blades because we do a lot of cutting. Okay, so then we're gonna put our four blue triangles on and that will get us our economy block. Yep. Okay, so now once we have our economy block, is this actually called an economy block or is that an Angela term? Um, no, I think it's actually called that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I made that up. <laughs> All right, we have cute names for everything. I just figured Yeah, I don't know how we came up with an economy one. block. That would be kind of weird. I'd call it George or something. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to cut through the north and through the south of this block. Okay. And then we're going to go abracadabra. Because yeah, it's really I, quite cool. When you showed this to me, I was blown away. Oh, when I figured this out, I was jumping up and down. And in this series, I have a similar block, and I wish I would have known this when I was creating yeah. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way it's, in my episode. It's so much um, less tedious piecing to right. do it this way. This All right, so, cool. so here we go. Abracadabra. Yeah. Bum, ba, da, da. 
exciting. There you go. Isn't that awesome? So I in the black, that. these are all rotated. Oh, so yeah, neat. that way. Okay, but they're a little oversized. It's like a disappearing economy block. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do them. We're gonna trim them down to that four and a half inch again. Okay. And so, oof, there's a lot of room. Thank you. Results. Sorry. I do. I know I'm making a big old mess. <laughs> All right. So what's important is um, you're gonna need two diagonal lines. So I'm gonna line this ruler up, and I'm gonna make sure.